first of all, um, we actually are here to replace some reed from uh, the German systems. Uh, we had um, uh, the situation that some could not come here and uh, make the speech announced uh, with the title you have seen in the program. But um, as a new reseller of uh, German in Europe, we agreed that we will take over and maybe slightly go to more practical implementations that we have as a system integrator been doing. What we are going to go through is brief presentation of district consulting, our vision of uh, terminal market from this digital change point of view, uh, our terminal automation strategy that we believe is solving these problems, and uh, briefly also a couple of solutions that Thurman and Distri is able to provide. OP. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's great to be here and uh, uh, to going uh, telling about our company, which is established already in 1986, and, and we have worked in the area more than 30 years and uh, are working with uh, different companies, different uh, countries, and uh, done to the over 24, uh, 25 uh, terminal task systems in, in our time. Uh, also, up, many upgrades and uh, things like that. We have our own proven concept for lowering rack, tank monitoring system, transfers, and in inventory. What is our strategy target is, is to really bringing value to the customers uh, by simplifying to the processes. Uh, the equipment itself, the, the volumes uh, in, in, in electronic part or automation part in, in ATEX area, they are pretty expensive. So uh, what we're looking for is the, the extending to the time for the uh, lifetime for the, for the systems, uh, computers, uh, flow computers, computers, things like that, reusing to the existing concept. We, we are not really want to to totally change to the, the terminal daily working uh, process, processes or even the, the, the soft, changing the software if it's not really necessary to do. We, we really developing to the single customer need for solution what they request. So we, we building the, uh, up to the, the system for example, touch board and things like that. And Simo will tell about that our project more about how we're doing these kind of things. And we have also, in, in this th during this 30 years time, we have uh, many partners who's helping us to doing the so certain things. How we see the situation at the moment or how we have seen it in, in the last couple of years, it's, it's clearly evidence that the volumes are going to deliver, uh, decreasing uh, uh, in fuel sector. The operation cost by per unit is going down. There is a high pressure to uh, reduce the fixed cost and investments, really do. Tank capacity will be there. The investment has been done. You need to get to the money out from the, the tanks. So it, it's really causing the challenges to operate the maintenance terminal. Uh, we have mainly working in Finland, which is the size of the, the whole Europe. Uh, if you're putting to the top of the Finland in Holland and the end part is, is going to the, uh, I think it's going to the France coast. So uh, practically there is something like 12 terminals in the whole country which is delivering to the product. So the distances are big, 5 million people only. I think uh, Rotterdam area is more people living in this area than in Finland totally. So we see that the, the situation where it's going, we, we, we're really trying to solve the issues which is related to the cost and how it's impacting to the unit, uh, unit cost itself. And uh, of course, the service station network is, is, is going down. Uh, there is, it's not beneficial to keep into the uh, gas stations for, for cars if, if the volumes are low. At the same time, when the, the uh, environmental part is uh, increasing and, and causing to the, the more challenges in, 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 into the things, which means that the logistics cost point of view, it, it's, it's 
really difficult. And what the product owners want to do, they want to find to the best place for the tanks, for the products, at the cheapest place. It, it means that, okay, I, I can rent a tank from there, the another tank over there, and look at it, how it fits my, my delivery strategy. And, and, and that's going to mean that uh, those owners, they, they really want to get to the certain system which they can follow it all the time, depend, uh, without depending that uh, where that the tanks are and what does it requires for the, for the uh, for the uh, information point of view to, to get to the all, all delivery data in, in the right location. So what, what we're doing at the moment and how we're using our strategy, uh, we're reusing to the own concept investments in different locations. We re, uh, reuse to the current accepted low flow computers and upgrade them to the interfaces for better user experience and satisfying to the customers. And, and uh, it is a safety point of view. We, we have uh, agreed there or added there quite a lot the, uh, different kind of the uh, safety uh, features which uh, improving to the safety on the loading rack side. At the same time, we're transferring to the, the product information directly to truck so that uh, we're able to say that the driver is able to go and, and, and start deliveries. We, we're doing to the mobility capability for loading uh, rack equipment and reusing to that in the next location. We have a container systems which can be in, installed into the uh, lowering rack uh, terminal area so that uh, we're only using one power cable, one uh, fiber, and we have all data and be able to get the functionality of the, the loading racks. We have different kind of the lowering rack uh, components. Uh, we we're building different kind of the loading that depends on the, the customer needs. The, the, the might be even the six uh, loading arms, things like that. We have an additive system. We have a field control. And, and, and the, of course, the inventory point of view, we have all, all, all that there in, in place. Okay, Simo. Yeah, so when we are we're looking a new partner for our software uh, Plus software uh, installations, we were mainly focusing to finding someone who has a lot of existing support for existing systems because as a small system supplier and integrator, we need to be able to flex on what the customer has and what the customer wants. And uh, like you see, there's um, a lot of uh, even different software versions uh, in the Airman systems opportunity. Uh, you all know who have been dealing with software that there's also a risk, high risk, if you start doing a lot of different uh, kind of uh, variations from your software and it might lead to very difficult to maintain software. That is why uh, Derman has a couple of different software releases like Tasnet and RTG. But the most important thing why we picked uh, Derman is the Unity server. What Unity Server basically offers, it's one centralized server which is having a two-directional two link for all the terminals, TAS systems. So you can basically update new destination list, new suppliers, anything uh, centrally from one place. You can also, like discussed today in many presentations, take the data and collect it to one place so that data analysis and change management can have reliable facts where to start from. We deal a lot with um, what we could call uh, XML uh, integration. Like, uh, like you see those servers, uh, if you need to move data from one database to another, for a software engineer, extended markup language is a, is a nice tool. Of course, it's even better if it's standard-based, but if it's not exactly the standard, XML is a fast way to either export or import data structures with the data uh, from, from one system to another. 
So what we have been building on the solution side, one of these uh, ideas is called distributor. It's basically a loading control system which is uh, solving a problem that many um, reset users are, are complaining that why is this display so small? If I try to make six arms or even less arms used in a simultaneous loading, I'm having difficulties to understand what the hell is going on. And that was solved by bringing a big ATEX display on the loading rack, showing where are we, what are we doing, what are the compartments already flowing, and what is the one that I'm going to take next. Uh, another problem, also uh, evident from uh, mid-directive requirements, is that you would actually need often much more longer term storage capacity than your preset has. And why is that? Because MIT tells you that uh, if you have a custody transfer going on so that the customer is not present when you are metering. So MIT tells you that you need to have the evidence, the original evidence from the MIT transaction available for the, for the customer if she so requires. Other requirement is that uh, when we go towards digital bookkeeping, that you need to keep the receipts until your taxation uh, and, and the keep times of taxation are kept. This is why we need even several years of, uh, of length for keeping times. Can you put next? So distributor basically is a display like this. You have all the arms that you are able to use simultaneously in one display. The UI is uh, similar to what you use in uh, frequency converters. And uh, you can also see the truck there with the, with the compartments. It's a touch panel operation, so you can make a nice UI by just pressing the, the compartment that you want to operate next. Next one. Uh, we also have been solving uh, old terminal challenge by bringing tank uh, data systems where we combine different sources like NRAF and Rosemount uh, radars and, and uh, metering systems. And we are using uh, SIL2 capable systems so that when you have the uh, level data from the tank, you can use that also to safety critical operations so that you know that your pumps will not get air because the level in the tank is too low. So it brings you opportunities to, to manage some of your engineering challenges. Uh, what OP discussed about mobility of the, uh, of the terminal solutions, this is one of those container solutions. Imagine a situation where you are launching a new biofuel, which needs to be distributed in a sparsely populated Nordic countries. You need several sources, several ter terminal uh, tanks and, and distribution opportunities. So when the business is growing, you can move these entities from one place to another. And uh, what you only need to connect is basically one fiber and a power. Our solution is basically mid-approved container that you can lift on your, on your truck like the one outside, uh, outside the uh, atoy. Okay. So that was basically what we had uh, in mind. I think we also are in a little bit pressure to move to, towards next presentations. But if there's a quick question, Okay, nice talking to you and hope we see you also in the future.